tough result, you know, not the one you wanted, but mm -hmm. just talk about your thoughts. Um, credit to Davidson, first off. You know, they did a good job of just kind of sticking with it, you know. Um, that was a game of runs. We were up 10, they went up. We were up seven in the second half, and in those key spots, we just, when we really needed a stop or just a really high-level execution on the offensive end, we just we just couldn't get that possession when we needed it. Um, but all that being said, you know, you get to the under four media, uh, it's a two-point game on the road. And I felt like we gave ourselves a chance to win, um, but, you know, when you allow a team to shoot 33 free throws on their home floor um, and shoot, I think, 70% in the second half, we just need to clean up, be a little bit better um, with our interior defense. Uh, but all in all, I'm, I'm super proud of our guys for the for the, just the fight. They played till the very end, played till the very uh, last buzzer. Uh, and we've had a long trip, you know, and, and no, no excuses. Um, I was worried about what our energy level would be going into this game and credit to our guys. I thought they came out with the right intentions, the right fight. Um, you know, we just gotta play a little bit better in, in crunch time. You're out scored them off the bench again. What does that mean to have guys come off the bench and contribute right away? Yeah, I think our bench is one of our strong points. You know, we have a lot of good players, um, a lot of good pieces on this team, and um, continue to just trust in the fact that on any given night it could be somebody else, you know, and you got to stay ready. Um, I thought Hawthorne came in and affected the game for us in a positive way, especially in the first half. Uh, he had a good cut late in the game. I thought Meeks has continued to, you know, be a, be a really good spark for us off the bench. So something will continue to develop and find the right rotations. But uh, all in all, I can't say it enough. I'm, I'm just proud of our team for staying the course over this long uh, road trip. We don't want to lose um, at all. Um, but I thought their fight was, was what it needed to be. You mentioned the two-point game at the under four media timeout. Is it something you adjust moving forward, you know, down the stretch, something to change, or you just kind of stay the course and let the season roll through? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's always different combinations that you can play late in the game. Um, you know, the biggest thing is we did not um, we did not defend interior the interior in the paint the way that we need to in crunch time. Gave up a three on the switch to their best player late in the game, uh, and those are things against good teams that always have a way of just coming back and biting you. So, moving forward, like as hard as it is, we'll dive into the film and we're gonna learn. You know, and so the next time we're in this position, it doesn't happen. And I'm so confident in our group that they'll make the necessary changes moving forward uh, where we win a game like this. You know, and these are kind of games that get you, you know, prepared for conference play and postseason play and all that. So uh, we don't want to we don't want to lose. Um, but I thought um, that was a, a quality game on the road um, that in the end will make us better. To Fresno last week, but this was kind of our first true road trip. Just how do you feel about the road trip overall? Yeah, again, I'm I'm proud of our team. Like it's hard to be on the road for six, seven days, uh, and fly fly even further east. And I thought our connectedness uh, grew as a group. I thought our just our buy-in is is where it needs to be. Um, you know, unfortunately, sometimes you have to learn hard lessons like this um, when you're far away from home. You know, and and um, but again, I, I love our team. I love what we can potentially be. We just need to learn from our mistakes and get a little bit better.